Mary, I gotta say, I mean, I know you are living that married life right now. So the fact that you're so free, I'm so thankful. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, now that the wedding's over, I'm like, I'm like, I could take a shower. Like I can do things again. <laughs> Congratulations on your marriage to Wyatt. Can you tell us just a little bit about that wedding? How magical was that day for you? Oh my God, it was amazing. And also like, Wyatt and I really bonded over our Christian upbringings and like we're both Episcopalian and so you know to just have a very affirming um wedding it was just so beautiful all of our friends and family were there and we were in Maine it was really the best day of my life I was in like my bridal suite afterwards like crying like I'm not taking my dress off I'm not done <laughs> <laughs> But I understand that. Okay, I got to ask you like a cheesy question. Like, did you play same love at some point throughout that ceremony? <laughs> no. <laughs> we didn't, but I did. I wrote a song for Wyatt that I'll be releasing soon, you know, and I think also the songs on 1946 have been, you know, really exciting to write and and I'm excited to incorporate them into, you know, future stuff. It reminded me of when I got the call to do same love where I was like, this is, I'm meant to do this. The line in Same Love, like, I'm not crying on Sundays, was because I cried. I cried every Sunday for a year. It was a time in my life where church was the only thing that I had left. That one day, having my pastor condemn homosexuality, I mean, two weeks later, I attempted suicide. And so when we talk about this way, it's not, it's not trivial. It's not, it's not a novelty, it's, it's really, like this will impact people's lives and putting that word in there has tremendously impacted, you know, queer people's lives for a very long time. And it's incredibly unfortunate. And here's this opportunity to really heal something. Rocky, let me move over to you, my friend, because this type of project I think is gonna resonate, of course, with so many of us in the LGBTQ community who had tough religious upbringings and still battle day to day with what we were taught about who we really feel that we are. So let me ask you, what inspired you to create this project and to shine a light on this important message? My dad is an evangelical minister. I knew at a very young age that there was something different about me and, and there was something off. And as soon as I found out that I was a lesbian, obviously that didn't really resonate with my upbringing and the teaching that I was presented. I came across this research and was like, wait a minute, the word homosexual wasn't in the Bible until 1946. But now we have tangible evidence with letters discovered at Yale University from the men who put this word in the Bible actually saying, well, you know, this is not accurate. And they've corrected it and updated it. Everyone should see this movie because the Bible is the biggest book in the world. It impacts us all. And we can see in our own country the dangers of biblical literalism or uh, taking the Bible and using it in a way that harms others. So I'm very grateful that I found this research and grateful to have the opportunity to tell this story. Working with Mary has been a dream. I can't wait for you all to hear what she's done with this movie. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Rocky. Okay, I love this, officially love this interview. <laughs> like, yes! 